All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you three different ways you can color this in if you don't have watercolor. Uh, this first way is just going to be using color pencils. So color pencils are really cool because when you push down hard on them, it makes the color darker. But when you push down lightly, it makes it lighter. So you can show kind of like uh, different uh, tones or values. Um, here I'm doing the grass. It's kind of scribbly looking. Uh, and then I flatten it down by going all sorts of different directions. So see, I'm going left to right. And then I'm gonna go back over it, up and down. And that just kind of flattens it all down. And then I'm going to blend it with the uh, darker color pencil. As you can see, I sped this video up. I don't color that fast. That would be, uh, be like having superpowers. Um, then I'm going to use yellow. And then I'm going to blend the yellow coming down into the green. And so if you use a complementary color, right now we're using green. So the complementary color green is red. And if you use a complementary color, sometimes it creates a shadow. Now, I don't really like the way this ended up. If you don't want to add shadows to yours, you don't have to. Uh, I was just trying to show you something uh, like how you would add shadow. And usually you use complementary color because it creates like this shadow color to it. But you don't have to do that. I didn't like the way mine turned out. So you can skip that part and leave it shadowless. That's fine. So we're trying to make it look like the sun is setting below the Stonehenge. So I'm going to color yellow past the horizon line, like it's the sun going down. And then I'm going to put some blue over top of that yellow. Because the sky is being lit up by the sun, making it blue. But because the sun's not reaching all the sky, it's starting to turn purple. Because it's getting darker. So here I'm using like a red violet, and then I'm going from the top, I want to go over it with a blue violet. So right here, it's the blue violet. And that's that. Next step, I'm going to use crayons and kind of do the same thing again. Now, crayons, you can, crayons, you can um, do value with those too lighter and darker, it's a little bit harder. The blending, it's not as easy because it's a wax. Uh, color pencils are kind of a wax too, but it's, it's a more malleable wax, meaning you can uh, make it kind of work more for you than a crayon. Crayon, are, are, they're a little bit more stubborn. So here I'm using, like I just did before, I'm gonna go green, light green, yellow, blue, purple, and then a darker purple. And then you can use the complementary color with the crayon to get that shadow. Again, I don't like the way it looked at the end. Especially the crayon doesn't look that great. that you don't have to do your drawing with all three like I'm doing. Uh, I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. The last one I'm gonna use is marker. So we're doing all this based off of having thin computer paper or notebook paper. If you have thicker paper, there are some other things I wanna show you in just a minute that you could do if you had marker. So marker, you can turn into a watercolor. Now marker doesn't blend all that well. Uh, the blue and the yellow is going to make green. Purple and the blue though, that turned out pretty good. And then again with the shadow using complementary color, I'm using red. Now that one turned out pretty nice. I like how that one came out. All right, so if you have thicker paper, like watercolor paper, you can do this. This, I'm going to use a paintbrush and marker. So here I am adding just a lot of purple at the top and a lot of yellow at the bottom and some blue kind of like in the middle. Making sure you add quite a bit, like go over it a few times 
Here I am outlining that and green at the bottom. And then yellow, make sure you use plenty of that. And then when you add water to it, it's going to start uh, bleeding, running. So you can run the blue and the purple together and it will give you kind of a, a blending sky. And then clean your brush if you don't want the yellow and the purple to touch. But yellow and blue is fine to touch and then yellow and green is fine to touch. So have it that all kind of just blend together. And then the final step will be take some salt and sprinkle it on there. And it's going to give it a cool uh, texture. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.